So Genji Mara Sensei, you you have a lot of experience mm -hmm. in um, helping students, uh, college students, find yeah. work and and gain uh, guidance in the direction of their mm -hmm. careers. And I wonder if you'd be uh, kind enough to share with us some mm -hmm. some advice mm -hmm. uh, and uh, about some of the issues the students face today. Our uh -huh. uh, our students face some unique challenges. For example, the third year they spend overseas, mm -hmm. but that's the same year they need to begin the job search process. Yeah. And when they come back, it might be half over. What can they do when they're overseas? <laughs> well, uh, that's the common headache for the student wishing to go study abroad uh, when they become third year or fourth year. So I usually, before they you know, uh, go to the study abroad, we will, uh, the, we will provide the students a guidance now, so, and we will explain that what they should do uh, in order to adequately, you know, adjust their uh, the plan for the job hunting. Mm. So uh, the the first one is now we have uh, the internet, okay. so we can communicate to each other always all the time through the internet. Okay. So, Skype, or, yeah, yeah, Skype mm -hmm. also. Then we will uh, instruct them. Now it's time for you to do this or do that, mm -hmm. such as uh, you know submitting entry sheet or uh, uh, the joining the uh, the company presentation, mm -hmm. etc. Mm -hmm. you know? Oh, that's that's very interesting. So they don't really have to wait. No. They can they can mm -hmm. uh, stay yeah. active and right. they can stay on schedule yeah. based on uh, the advice they can give mm -hmm. and they can communicate with you anytime. So right. Even excellent. if they are in the foreign countries, they can do what they should do. You know? mm -hmm. So the uh, the submitting entry sheet is one of them. You know? mm -hmm. So it's no problem. So mm -hmm. excellent, excellent. Mm -hmm. uh, the um, conventional job search calendar in Japan is uh, by by the end of uh, March you need yeah. to have this or how many entry sheets you should, you know uh, there's that's the sort of uh, conventional wisdom for large companies mm. but some of our students don't want to follow that path maybe maybe they want to work for a middle-sized company maybe they want to work for a foreign company mm -hmm. or maybe they want to work overseas outside of Japan mm -hmm. what, what kind of advice can you give them who don't follow the typical path uh, my advice to them is that uh, you don't need to focus on the, such a large company or prestigious companies only. Uh, there are a lot of companies who might be interested in you. So uh, it's better for them to you know, start exploring you know, what kind of companies are there. You know? mm -hmm. So I usually advise them starting to start with the identifying the industries. You know? mm -hmm. And uh, in such industries, you need to find you know, three or four you know, companies mm -hmm. you might be interested in. Mm -hmm. Then uh, you can have you know, 20 to 30 you know, list of those companies. You know? mm -hmm. um, I think a lot of, mm -hmm. um, even uh, adults, mm -hmm. the image they have of the company comes as mm -hmm. a consumer. Mm -hmm. Right, so they they like the company's products, mm -hmm. but that's very different from working at the company. Ah, yes, and and sure. they, they really don't know uh, uh, where to start. Uh, how do you how do you identify an industry mm -hmm. that you're interested in when you don't even know anything about the industry? Mm -hmm. well, how do you get that experience without the experience? Well, the uh, the usually most students don't have any idea which company will suit them, you know, best. So I said, you don't have to worry about that, you know, mm -hmm. any company, you know, through the very, you know, uh, the simple image, mm -hmm. uh, such as I have ever seen the commercial message of this company or that company, oh. or I am interested in doing this or doing that, oh. you know, I'm very much, you know, I like to have some chocolate or oh. <laughs> any kind of foods, you know, oh, okay. so I become interested in which companies are manufacturing these, you know, ah, okay. the goods. So you so, start with mm, your interests, mm, and um, maybe they're not going to pay you to do your hobby, but mm, if the if the company is making things yeah. that's related to your hobby, that could be a good place to start. Right. Yeah. And one of the advantages for the, the students living in Japan is that there are, you know, a, a large number of companies uh, that exist, you know, mm -hmm. uh, the beginning with the, uh, uh, 
the manufacturing companies. Mm. So they have a lot of options to you know find mm. uh, you know the company suited for them. Mm. You know. So back to the calendar question. Mm. Let's say they find a company that they're mm. interested in, and they contact them and they said, "Sorry, we've already done mm. our um, mm. the the mm. doors closed for mm. this year. Mm. Come back next year." So. Mm. What, what do you do if you're told that? Well, there are some companies uh, who say that, uh, sorry, we we already you know uh, mm -hmm. finished the recruitment, but uh, in certain cases, mm -hmm. you know, uh, the students who get the job offer, they sometimes refuse. Yeah, I mean, the, ah, they uh, turn it down. Turn down. So there's an opening so, that yeah. happens later. So they have to start recruiting again. So uh, this is a you know good chance for them to uh, you know to challenge. Mm. Mm. So how do you how do you stay in touch with a company so that you would mm. get that kind of information? Well, the uh, most of the you know uh, universities have uh, the administrative staff who support the, uh, the job hunting. So uh, it's one of their tasks to, mm -hmm. you know, to visit these companies and mm -hmm. find such information. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so um, if you have a student who, mm -hmm. for some reason, mm -hmm. uh, is behind mm -hmm. in the process, maybe it was because they were overseas, maybe it was because they just mm -hmm. didn't know, uh -huh. or they were too busy, or, you mm -hmm. know, a lot of reasons. Mm -hmm. and. So, are you suggesting that there's still a chance for mm. them if they um, mm. stay uh, connected mm. and they pursue their interests? Mm. It's not too late, in other words. No, I don't think so. So, uh, <clears throat> even in my case, you know, it was about 40 or 45 years ago. Oh. You know, I came back from Egypt, you know, because I studied there you know, and started in you know, a recruiting company, started to joining the, the recruitment of the mm. company. Mm. And uh, most say you are too late, ah. but uh, you know it was not too late for me. You know? ah. So I knocked the door and asked one of the Japanese bank if uh, I have still chance to uh, you know yeah. get into ah. your company. So they say yes you know, because oh. they become interested in me uh, because of my you know studying abroad ah. experience. And, and that was, you said, 45 years ago, but yeah. maybe even now, even mm -hmm. more. Even, yeah, even now, I, I, I yeah. think that is true. You know? and, but you don't physically knock on the door now, do you? Mm -hmm. Do you actually, how do you actually contact the company when it might be officially yeah. too late? Mm -hmm. Well, the, uh, I, you know, myself, you know, approach to the company's human resource department okay. and asked if there is still a chance for me to let. Oh, so you physically went to the company? Yes, of oh. course. Yeah. Okay. Uh, at the time, we don't have you know an uh, iPhone yes. or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's the only way you know, I can get such uh, information. Well, no. also, it, it seems to me that if mm -hmm. if a company has ten thousand entry sheets, they're not mm -hmm. going to read them all, mm -hmm. and one guy shows up mm -hmm. in person, mm -hmm. makes a good impression, mm -hmm. they're going to have a better chance. Yes, I think so. You know, they, mm -hmm. it, it demonstrates more uh, mm -hmm. initiative or something yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So important thing is how you know. Uh, and how can I say in English? Mm. Uh, how how attractive? Mm. Or, attractive yeah. he is. Yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. she is. Yeah, okay. yeah, mm. yeah. Mm. Oh, that's interesting. Mm. So, um, what 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 if a student uh, mm. at one point finds mm. themselves they've gotten an offer, mm. a night day, right? Mm -hmm. And they maybe have a couple of interviews left. What do they do? Should they keep? Should they accept the night day, or should they say, "Sorry, I'm not. I'm still searching." Well, uh, in such a case, I recommend that you should accept the mm. job offer mm. or from any country, uh, any company. Yeah. Then you must decide finally mm. uh, which one to choose. You know? So. Mm. So is I it all right know. to accept several different uh, night day and then yes, you I have to so. make your decision? There's no legal obligations, ah. you know, for them. Once they accept, yeah. they must, you know, they go to ah. that company, you know. That doesn't, you know. Oh, okay. Uh, you know. They might pressure you with a deadline, but uh, mm. at least you don't, uh, but then you can say yes, right? Mm. Yes. <laughs> and then you can change your mind later. Mm. But yeah. um, 
I think people feel like uh, they're they're not being honest, maybe to the company. But the company can also change their mind, right? Right. Nante yeah. is not. Totally Should it uh, always, you know, honest? Yeah. Uh, before changing their mind. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And okay. Well, that, that's that's very interesting. So, um, you know, uh, one of the things that the career design mm -hmm. and career search is a mm -hmm. little bit different from the academic subjects. Mm -hmm. For one, the academic subjects have a beginning and an end. Mm -hmm. You you finish the course and you go mm -hmm. to the next level or something. Uh -huh. But career design is your whole life, right? Mm -hmm. So it's not homework; it's life work. Mm -hmm. And and yet, it's difficult to be motivated when you have all your studies also mm -hmm. occupying, and you, uh -huh. and you don't really know what it's like. Mm -hmm. How can they get the experience? Do you recommend internships? Um, mm -hmm. What else can they do? Well, internship is uh, you know uh, it is a good way to mm -hmm. you know identify a job. But uh, even if they you know that repeatedly join the internship. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I can't say they can finally you know, uh -huh. identify their suitable job. Uh -huh. So it's uh, good as just an experience, mm -hmm. but uh, doesn't worry, you know. Uh -huh. uh, it, it, does it look good on a resume though, if you've done some? Yes, research? I think so. Yeah. The companies are more and more interested in those guys who have ever, you know, the internship. Um, in some praise. Well, it shows well, initiative and that, that mm, the student is engaged. That can be an yeah. advantage, yeah, yeah. but it, it, it's not a, not a guarantee. No, 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 no. no guarantee. Uh, mm. uh, one question that comes up a lot is, um, uh, especially among our foreign students, is mm. how good does their Japanese have to be mm. if they want to work in Japan? Well, uh, <clears throat> I, I can't say how, yeah, how yeah. good. But, uh, you know, in, in case of Japanese student, uh, if they wish to get a job offer from uh, the global company, mm -hmm. uh, they always, you know, require to have a high level of English competency uh -huh. or uh, Chinese, you know, yeah, or any yeah. other language competency. So, and vice versa. Uh, yeah. uh, well, the, for them too, yeah. 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 So, if any international student wishing to get the job offer from Japanese companies, mm -hmm. they also have have to have two, you know, language skill, you know, Japanese uh -huh. and English. And how do they other, do know, they say? Well, you need an N two or N one. How 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 seriously do they need to be able to read mm -hmm. and write Japanese? I think that's the the key issue. They might have conversation, but uh, it depends on the company. Uh, yeah. But uh, as far as I know, when I uh, the attended the, the big, you know. Uh, Company forum and in other in Tokyo, mm -hmm. you know, uh, there are a lot of international students, you mm -hmm. know, uh, the line to you know get the you know, mm -hmm. uh, explanations, mm -hmm. and uh, they are they were asked to write a resume, you know, mm -hmm. <coughs> and I was very surprised to see that uh, they can write good Japanese, Whoa. just like a good, just like a Japanese student. You know. Really? So wow. probably uh, this kind of high level of Japanese competency mm. will be required, mm. uh, especially for the, uh, the, the middle size or mm. you know, small size company, because mm. there aren't any you know, staff who can communicate in English. Yeah, uh, yeah. So, so the, how are they going to speak to you? Yeah. There, right? Mm. Yes. Well, you know, we bring in uh, guest speakers mm. uh, of various uh, levels of experience mm. and different ages. Mm. And I've noticed that the students are most interested in if the speakers are uh, under 30 years old. Mm. They're still in their 20s. Mm. They're a little bit older than they are, maybe 25, 29. Uh -huh. uh, even though those, those people would not yet have that much experience uh -huh. or even that high level uh -huh. in the company. Yeah. But they're just closer in the generation. That makes mm. sense. But uh, what do you think, uh, you think that students have something to learn from any age level or mm. uh, is it better to learn from somebody who's mm. close to your age? Mm. I don't have a concrete idea about mm. that, but uh, when I started you know, uh, and then teaching the career design mm. in another universities, mm. uh, once I you know, did, like you said, you know, mm. I tried to invite uh, senior level, mm -hmm. you know, people you know, yeah. as a guest speakers, but I gradually understand they might not so much interested in yeah. them. Yeah. So yeah. they sometimes asked me, I would rather have, uh, you know, guest speakers. Yeah. There's, 
you know, closer to yeah, our age. Closer to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that, that makes mm -hmm. sense, I think. Um, is there any other advice that you can um, just give a, a student who mm -hmm. really doesn't know where to start mm -hmm. with career design? Mm -hmm. Just a, mm -hmm. in, in general, what, what sort of attitude, what sort of uh -huh. preparation? Mm -hmm. Well, the, uh, <clears throat> those who are interested in uh, the job, you know, uh, as uh, you know, guardians or the parents, mm -hmm. yeah, wishing us to, you know, uh, to give them an opportunity to, uh, to <coughs> encourage them, you know, mm -hmm. uh, to join in the job hunting activity as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. But uh, I have a different opinion oh. you know, <laughs> because the uh, the. The faculty like ICLA it ask every student to go study abroad. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, their priority should be uh, to pass the requirement yes. of uh, English, you know, uh, like level yeah, English ability, yes. English yeah. ability as well as the, any other you know performance. Mm -hmm. So it's very really hard for them to you know uh, to yeah to. Or two, you know. So they shouldn't mm -hmm. sacrifice the quality mm -hmm. of their education mm -hmm. just in order to get a job because right. the quality education yeah. is part of getting mm -hmm. a good job. So my yeah. advice to them is always you should concentrate on mm -hmm. uh, how soon you can you know, fill the requirement of ah. the uh, study abroad. Excellent. Then yeah. it's not too late for you. you know. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that's really mm -hmm. encouraging advice and we really thank you for your time. Mm -hmm. And uh, I hope that students will uh, feel open to uh, to come and speak with you because you have a wealth of uh, experience and wisdom to share. Okay, thank you. Yeah, very much, Kenji Masensei. Thank yeah. you.